So I made this video back in April when we found out what the Eagles schedule was going to be. I made a breakdown comparing it to Bleacher Report's predictions and got a solid 10, 10 and 6 record. Um, playoffs or no playoffs, 10 and 6, agreeing with Bleacher Report at that time. But I said I would make more of these and I'm not only going to make more of these videos, this is going to be the second out of three predictions for the Eagles and their schedule this year. Another one will come later on in August in the next two months, so we're keeping it consistent with that. But I'm also going to do, in this week, a breakdown of the Washington Redskins schedule, a breakdown of the New York Giants schedule, and a breakdown of the Dallas Cowboys schedule. I'm doing the entire NFC East, um, mostly because I want to brew... Some controversy. I want to hear what you guys have to think about the Eagles and their division rival teams and their schedules. And I, I want to, you know, share my thoughts with you guys as well because I haven't really taken much thought into looking at their schedule. I don't follow the teams that big compared to the Eagles, you know. So it's going to be, clearly I'm going to have a few head scratchers and I'm going to have a few predictions that you guys will disagree with, which is cool. I don't care. I'm going to share my predictions with you guys and I want to hear what you guys think as well. So... Expect that in the next week. But right now, we're going to focus on the Eagles. Like I said, I predicted them to go 10-6, and six, agreeing with Bleacher Report last April, I believe, when we uh, found out what their schedule was going to be. Now, after the draft, post-draft and post-OTA, since we're getting into minicamp and training camp and what, blah, 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 you know, we're getting closer to August preseason and stuff. What better thing to do than to predict their season now with the added... Um, assistance and insurance from the draft, you know, and uh, I'm going to be flat out honest, I don't have much different to say. <laughs> um, I, I have to wait until I actually see the team with my own eyes before I can actually, like, full-on make my final prediction, and that's basically what this video is going to be. It's going to be a slower one. It's not going to be a slower one. It's going to be a faster one, because I know the schedule. I've already made a prediction on it, but at the same time, At the same time, I can't be sure because I don't know what this team looks like. It's kind of like how Chip Kelly's system worked. And if I made videos back in 2013, I would be saying the same exact thing now, just with a higher and annoying pitched voice. Uh, that I wouldn't know what to do. I, don't, I wouldn't know what to, to predict because we don't know what this system looks like. Um, we don't know what the teams look like to, or the players look like together to really make a full-on prediction. But I'm just going to go out, break, the, break down the schedule again. And I'm going to go out and say that week one, September 10th, 1 o'clock at Washington FedEx Field, and we're going to take home a dub. We're going to take home the win against the Redskins. It's going to be like a 27-24 to 24 victory. Looking at the Redskins, and I'm going to talk more about this like tomorrow or Friday, whenever the video goes up. They really just... They, they were a very, very big mess during the offseason, especially the start of it, you know, before the draft. Uh, they lost Pierre Garçon and then Deshaun Jackson. They fired their GM. They went through the whole thing with uh, Cleveland and Kirk Cousins. Maybe trading him, maybe not. They finally franchise tagged him, and now it's not an issue anymore. Even though Kirk Cousins is like, oh, well, whatever, just give me money. I don't care. You know, it, it's it was a mess. From from an Eagles perspective, from a fan of a different team, and probably from a lot of other teams and ESPN and everything, it was a mess what they were going through. So. Adding Terrell Pryor, sure, that's insurance. You know, Jordan Reed, if he could stay healthy, sure. And then Jameson Crowder, or whatever his name is, I can't remember. It's Crowder. I can't remember his first name, but they have some weapons there, of course. Running back, Matt Jones, he hasn't been in OTAs, I believe. And then whoever else is there, sure, they have they have a pretty solid offense. Offensive line's pretty good, too. But I think the Eagles are going to pull out a win because, well, our defense is going to be strong. I already know it. Our defense is always strong, but we just need the offensive support, which is what we lacked last year. And that's why our defense went down the toilet later on in the season. But in the end, the Redskins will most likely beat them. Um, it'll be a hard-fought game, but I suspect that the Eagles will pull out the victory as they head to Kansas City. And now, this game I'm really 50-50 about, being completely honest, because they lost Jeremy Macklin. Alex Smith isn't looking too good, as in they're going to move on from him soon. So we don't know where exactly Kansas City is at. Um, they don't have a... I don't know the running back. If, do, do you guys know the running back? I don't know the running back. You know, they lost Jamal Charles. Or they let him go, rather. But I don't know what to say much about Kansas City. 
Uh, but I'm gonna say we're gonna. I'm just gonna stick with the loss. I don't see us going two and zero. I don't see us going three and zero. Um, because that would just be a very, very, like that. That that would just be shocking on all. Just, bah. You know, I don't expect a two and zero, three and zero start to the season, and I think we'll take away like a freaking seven point loss to Kansas City, just because it's. Andy Reid, you know, we keep, we, last time we played Andy Reid, it didn't go too well, so, I'm just gonna stick with a loss, uh, there's no, nothing much to say about that, now, the Giants, I predicted before we even got the schedule that we will win the home opener, and when I found out we were playing the Giants as our home opener, I was like, yeah, we definitely gotta win it, I'm gonna stick with us winning, because the Giants, they're a big question mark, in my opinion, I don't know how they're going to, uh, be in <laughs> this next year, you know, I don't know if they're gonna be good, I don't know if they're gonna be okay or bad or whatever things are looking good for them but i don't really like i said you have to see them before you can really make a firm prediction that they're going to be good or bad you know and preseason doesn't say much because you don't see much of your um your first stringers you know you don't see much of your starters uh during preseason but in the end the Giants, I feel like we're going to win this game. I feel like it's going to be an overtime kind of game, a game that lingers for a while, maybe even a high-scoring game, um, as crazy as that sounds for the past, uh, for the Eagles, and especially in the past couple of, of seasons. You know, um, I can expect, a, or at least in my opinion, a really well-fought game between these two. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be crazy. A home opener against your division rival New York Giants. Like, that's crazy. Um, it's going to be fun. I can't wait to... Can't wait to watch that game, but um, yeah, I think the Eagles will pull out a win for that game. Then we move on. We go to Los Angeles to play the Chargers. Um, that's a win. Like honestly, the Chargers, they got Mike Williams, but didn't he get injured? And people wanted us to get him. Uh, I think we're gonna win that game. Moving on, playing at home against Arizona. Arizona. I don't know what to think about that. Um. I don't remember exactly what I said back in April about this, but uh, I think we're going to win. We always beat them at home, but we haven't beaten them the past couple of seasons, so I I, I shouldn't be too confident, but I think we'll beat them. Uh, Carson Palmer, he's aging. Isn't Larry Fitzgerald still there? Like, what, what the hell are they thinking? And they lost Michael Floyd and stuff. Their offense, I don't know too much about, but the defense is going to be crazy good as always. The... The amount of pressure that Bruce Aarons throws at you is crazy. So it'll be a good game to see. Always, you know, these two these two freaking birds are always difficult to beat each other. You know, like it's always a good game between these two. It wasn't the last game we had against them in 2014. We lost to them in Arizona. Wasn't that Jeremy Macklin like, like, uh, <laughs> like, like, like legit like swan diving into a pool of Gatorade jugs and stuff? And on the Arizona sideline. If you remember that, please tell me because that was a funny moment. Um, then we go to Carolina Thursday night football. That's a that's a win, that's a victory in my in my book. Then we play the Redskins. I, I say we split the season. The the I I would say that we would split with them. So I'm gonna say we lose that game. We win San Francisco. Broncos 50-50. I'd say we win. I'd say we lose to the Cowboys on Sunday night coming off of our bye. Uh, mostly due to the fact, or not off of our bye, but mostly due to the fact that, you know, we're playing them in prime time against them at home, or at Washington, or Dallas. I'm all over the place, but it'll be fun to see. Like, I, I, I'm just going to go out and say, like, 10-6 and six in the end. Like, we'll lose to Seattle, we'll beat Chicago, we'll win against the Rams, we'll win against the Giants, we'll probably lose against the Raiders. Who knows? You know, I'm just going to stick with 10-6, and six, you know? It'll be interesting to see. End of the story, you know? Like, I'm not going to focus too hard on making the second prediction as descriptive and crazy as long as the first one because there's not much else to say, you know? The draft picks that we have, we'll, like I said, we're, we're going to have to see. That's all there is to it. It's just patience. We're going to have to see what happens. That's all I can say about it as of right now. I only wish for the best because what else can I wish for? You know, I don't want us to tank the season. And I want to see improvement. Tell me what, in the comments what you guys think because I'm not going to roll through this entire thing. I'm tired and I'm going to save the full-on review for this or the full-on breakdown of this for August when I actually have an idea as to what we're going to see 
you know, like after seeing Alshon Jeffrey, Torrey Smith, all these guys come together and play on a football field for the first time, you know. So just tell me what you guys think. Um, sorry how a little me how much of a mess this video was, but uh, you know, I'm not gonna go into too much detail with this. Um, but that's a different story for the Giants and the Redskins and the Cowboys in their schedule breakdown. So you can expect that soon. And um, subscribe if you're new and all that good stuff. Tell me in the comments, like I said, what you guys think about the Eagles and their schedule. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a good day, guys.